Alright you guys, here we are, the movies game, and um, I've actually been able to update everything, I've reinstalled everything as you can see right now, and now that everything's back to normal, let's begin doing a tutorial. Okay, so to begin the game, you have to know like what to do and how to like make a 5 star studio, but since this is a little bit more complicated, I have to make sure you know the basics a bit and how to do everything from from scratch. And you can hear the um, news a bit too. <laughs> Well, Alright, sorry about making you wait a bit, but I was just trying to make sure that the radio was done, okay. Anyways, to begin, you, oh, in order for you to make a good studio, if I were you, when you're making a, a certain amount of builders, hire them, you have to make sure you hire a certain amount. So, for example, I'm gonna hire only a couple of builders, there's six, there's three people each, don't, don't even them out, only put four builders and two janitors to start out with, trust me, it actually works. Then you select the stage school, blah blah blah, and um, you pretty much build it. Um, you'll learn you, if you to buy the game. You'll learn this from the tutorial itself. But um, anyways, I'm just gonna build the studio, and I'll tell you the rest. All right, as you can see right now, I've actually constructed a few buildings. Um, all right, here's the stage school, like I already showed you. Um, I've constructed a casting office right next to stage school so then as soon as I finish casting my actors and actresses and um, directors pretty much I'll be able to immediately cast them into certain roles here's my crew facility next to the um, builders and everything and here's the production office okay basically each of them have a, has a certain um, like like has a certain um, action that involves where you had to do certain things but um if I were you like I would take my advice like I would you should know like where to put your state school and everything because like you should not put it like far away from here like to say like to make more room you should make it like it right at the entrance of the movie studio so then you don't have to worry about like too much money wasting on paths sorry about that um I always cuts off in 30 seconds okay well um after that you put them next to each other and then after that once everything's built you are able to begin so here's my actors and actresses and um, they tell you like the importance like stress pot easily bored in the yellow circle and in the um, white circle it tells you like comedy experience let me pause this okay so comedy experience um, she has a very little experience in comedy but she has good looks and physique even though she has good looks and physique, it doesn't mean it's like the best, but and she's a bat she's a stress pot, so you wouldn't really want that as your actor or she's easily b bored, so that's what makes it even harder for you to control the actor and everything. So, yeah, I wouldn't hire her. For um this guy, okay, he he's okay, but he the problem is like yet again, easily stressed, easily bored. Then for this girl, like the same exact situation, but the difference is that she's not easily bored. I mean, she's not easily bored. She's not easily stressed. She's hard to please, though, and she's tolerant, lives to eat in thin. So she's good with physique. She has good looks. She has good experience. So I would hire her because easily bored. When you're bored, it's not that much of a big deal because it's not much to worry. You can make them easily um, happy, as, like, but it's hard to please them, so that's a situation. A situation so um and then for this guy he's okay at like again and hard to please would be a situation but remember how I mentioned like in the movie star maker tutorial thing like how you can select your actors and um like make them your own okay what I mentioned about the selection button is that here when you pick up an actor once you have your um, actors made you can put them in import star where you pretty much um, your created stars wait one second Okay, anyways, where I pick up an actor, and there I put him in import star. When I import the star, like I mentioned, there's all my created actors, and here's everything, um, like from Richard Miller, Samantha Young, um, Stacey Landers, Greg Benny, um, Jeff Lance, anybody who I would date. And this is the import star as director from the star maker. Yeah, pretty much I input this, and I say who I want as my director. So without that, then I'll... I'll actresses so um for that um for my first selection i've chose these guys i'm gonna choose these guys okay for a guy i'll choose richard miller actress would be samantha young and then for my directors i would say 
Jeff Lance. When you build them, for example, let me build the stage school. Let's let's what stage? Stage school. Stage. Okay, the stage first, and then I have to um. Ha I have to like this is mainly for comedy. So if I want to do comedy, I'm going to do Richard Miller and I guess. All right, for my director for comedy, okay, Holly Johnson, Richard Miller, or or yeah, I'm gonna have to let them practice. Okay, for I'm gonna let the first script to be um guy for that, and for that here's my script script writers. I end up putting for comedy, comedy. And now he, they have to build this. Oh, for the quick note, keep in mind that when it comes to like doing the movie studio, you have to have at least a certain amount of the the whole entire movie studio is based on your quality of your movies and your environment of the lot, like maintenance level, building, um, you know, pretty much the. And you also have to connect your buildings, like if it has a per clear path, it cannot be like for a secret. So you have to connect these buildings to have a better lot. And with a better lot, you get an award. And the more awards you get, sorry, the more awards you get, the better chance you'll actually make perfect movies and get a better rating in your studio. And when it's number one, you're pretty much going to be like the top best movie studio ever. And you're going to be given so many things and it will upgrade to like certain levels to where you'll succeed and strive. And with that, I, I totally, that's why I totally prefer this game a lot because like it's really addicting and really fun. And I can, and it's really interesting to teach. Also, to keep in mind as well, when it comes to like actors, you know how they have to like have a good environment and you know get used to other people. Yeah, it's the same thing as this game, so it's pretty realistic as a simulator. So let's go to Richard Miller and Samantha. Samant actually, no, Holly Johnson. Yeah, you know what? Have them too, because like they're gonna make the films together as comedy and comedy. So. To improve their relationship, you have to make sure that they're all together. Like, for example, okay, let's put them together. Richard Miller, Holly Johnson, and then let's. And when you see there's a chat box right there, place them there and they will chat. So when they chat, they'll pretty much get used to each other, they'll talk a lot, and then when they become friends, they have a better relationship. There's even a chance where you can make them become soulmates and even, like, in love. So they will kiss, they will fall in love, blah, blah, blah. So um, if you put them, if you keep them to, if you um, let them conversate a lot, they'll fall in love, blah, 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 blah. Uh, do that with your um, environment and everything. Even though with just one relationship put it known, if I were you, do multiple people. So, um, have Richard Miller talk to this other actor or this other a actress or this other actor, Jeff Lance, to get used to each other because they all have to be friends to make movies. And if they're not, the critics will not credit will not like like it as much as they would be friends. Because like if they're friends, then the, it's pretty good. Then the movie studio is actually really friendly, and and it pretty much says like the best. So make sure they have a good environment. So let's let's. Since these two might make the new movie, oh crap! I forgot to build the bathroom. Uh, anyways, um, for the looks of it, they're both gonna have to make a building. Build the oh my god, I suck at this. Uh, I'm sorry for all the mess up, guys. Okay, um, in order, they're gonna. From the looks of it, Jeff Lance and Samantha Young are gonna be the ones who make a movie next. So I would rather have them make a horror film. Make them acquaintance, and make them be friends, have them practice, blah, 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 and et cetera, et cetera. By the way, keep in mind that with the money you have, make sure you keep, there's a, make sure you um, look towards that, because, like, if it affects everything. Sanitation, ornament, ornaments, you have to make sure there's enough ornaments around your studio. And since you're starting with at the beginning, if you see red dots here, like I'm pointing at my cursor, that means that you have to make sure that this environment's really good because like it's bad right now because there's a restroom. So to so make it better, so put ornaments around it, and it, once it makes it green, that means it looks really nice and beautiful or whatever. It's like sparkly, awesome. So <laughs> um, if it's red, make sure you uh, you check that, and because it, it might be dirty or something dirty or something like there's trash so make sure you check that out um and you and if i were you like since like it's a random movie studio if you want to have like a certain lot prestige 
you have to it, since it might be purely random you might have to just like randomly place ornaments around just to make your lot seem like really nice and everything and that's mainly and that's mainly because like um with the situation where um you have time to um put place down ornaments where you want it to be you have to make sure it's at a certain area um but you don't have time for it because the awards are coming so you have to place it randomly so that's what i usually do in the game because like once the lot looks nice and it's nice even though it looks pu like purely shit because it just doesn't look nice still like i am impressed with it i am i enjoy it like um it, like I just wanted to just say, like make sure it looks nice and everything before you do anything. Okay. All right. Now that everything's built, let's get Richard Miller and Holly Johnson to begin practicing for their film. Okay. By the way, remember how I kept in mind like how you, whenever you select your thing for um the uh, what their attributes would be for comedy and everything. Yeah, there's their experience. I placed him that he's good with action. He might he's bat. He's okay with action. He's okay with horror and romance. But unfortunately, there's only a certain level to where they're really good or something. So when you at when you have them um, go for a movie, you have to make sure that they're good with a movie. So if you can see where I am, oh, god damn it. If you can look closely at where I'm pointing at the cursor, um, yeah, they won't let me. You have to make sure they're at a certain area, like right around there, where the green has to be around here to to make sure that they are good with the movie. So, because with if it's like around here, it's really low and they won't be good with the movie. It will suck. Even though it might be like unrealistic, cause like they they will all seem like they're acting the same way. But if it was like a since it's a simulator, it acts as if it was more realistic. So you have to make sure that it's actually at a good level. So make sure it's like right here, not like right down there. It's otherwise it's bad. So that's why you have them practice to learn um, a bit more about the roles and the genre. So once they get used to it, they'll be able to do good. They'll be able to uh, perform well in the movie. So for that, you need to make sure they practice enough and you have to make sure that you they practice enough for a certain film because as soon as you want them to go in a certain film but they suck <laughs> you're screwed sorry about that that's my mic <laughs> all right let's continue on okay let's unpause this and let them practice i'm going to fast forward this so that they can finish building everything and do the script fast they can these two can practice and get used to each other Blah 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 blah. Hello, hello, Samantha Young and Jeff Lance. Guess what? You get a relationship. I suspect the next. Yeah. Okay. At this moment on, it might be. It might take a while for everything to be done. So I'm gonna skip through everything now that you know what to do, and I'll show you what's the outcome later on. All right. Everything is beginning to finish up now. Um, these two just became friends because I made them acquainted with each other. Um, they're gonna. I'm gonna make sure they make a horror movie. So yeah, they're, that's their ass. That's their first movie. Um, the script has been finished, but let's see their experience. Uh, yeah, they still need one more time to practice. So yeah, let's let them practice a bit more. I'm gonna let them be a bit more better with their relationship. I'm gonna build one more set, and let's go from there. Okay, um, I'm not going to teach you all the basics because I don't have all the time I in the world to tell you. So when, in order, you'll learn how to make the movies as soon as, soon as you like play the game and you listen closely at the tutorial. And once you do, you pretty much learn everything, every basic knowledge and information. So you don't have to worry about, ah, oh, god damn it, there's an extra there. I need an extra. God damn it. I need an extra actor. Okay, in this situation where you have an extra there, don't try to hire a random a random person like this person. Like he's mainly for a lot of maintenance. Don't act, hire him as an extra. Otherwise, he'll pretty much be like lame. It'll be like horrible. All right. By the way, uh, when you are consistent with your build with your builders and janitors, okay. When you start up, four builders and two janitors, and then you have three janitors and then f um, five builders, and then you move on to like one to one to one. So if it's four. It's six builders, so you get like two by two away from each other. So if it's four, it's two. It's four builders, two janitors. Um, if it's four janitors, it's six builders. So you have to know that because it's a good. Um, it's a good technique. Anyways, you also have to remember like um, like how I mentioned there's a situation where there's um. 
extras and everything if you don't have enough actors to support that usually you're gonna have to have and your script writers make another script like i'm gonna have to do right now so yeah it's it's more required hopefully they don't actually since it's and also since the situation with um the casting and everything and the script writers the script writers are purely random so you really have to as soon as you can get your um, custom script writing office which comes after the wannabe big cheese co comes by um you have to make sure that that you receive that as soon as possible because of that um uh, because like like i mentioned like i just said the script writers are like purely purely random so whenever you want them to do something they don't because like if you don't if you don't want them to like um do a movie over this um set or if you don't want them to do a movie on this set they're just going to do it anyways because or if they might not so you have to hope that they don't because like that's going to waste a lot of money during, for scripts and time oh by the way Keep in mind about their stress bar and their boredom bar, cause like that's what makes situations even worse. Cause like if they're overstressed, they will be really mean and upset, you know, like in real life, and they will not make good movies, cause like they're just overly stressed, and they w it's just gonna be a disaster. So make sure you know that. Make sure they're not too stressed, but and to avoid that, you have to um to avoid the situation with stressing your um actors don't overwork them make sure they have at least enough snacks to eat because they love when they eat they get less stress in real life like that's what happens in real life and if they if you once you get the bar the bar is what help and the restaurant the bar and the restaurant helps you like decrease stress with your actors because like it, when you drink you know we get less stressed but don't take that in real life and um when you eat a lot, it get, it uh, relieves stress a bit. Don't take that in real life as well. This is all a simulator, not in real life. Don't take that as don't 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 trust that. But in this game, yeah, it relieves their stress, so that might be helpful. But make sure you don't over over abuse that, cause like that's what makes them addicted, and that's what makes critics like criticize them over what they do. So for that, you're gonna have to make sure to remember environment's important. Um, san their sp lot prestige is important. So your sanitation, your catering, everything is important. Catering is pretty much snack machines and how you provide them with food and everything and convenience. So make sure you know that because if not, you're gonna get screwed. Yay! They made I made them best friends. Yes, now that they're friends, they'll be really good with each other. Now that'll be good for them. okay. And now that's be over. Let's go and let's go and begin. Yay! Oh God, dang it! Keep in mind that was actually a different script. This is the same. This is the original script, and here's the new script. God damn it! Okay, from the looks of it, we're gonna have to improvise. Uh, Samantha Young, you're up. All right, Richard Miller. Holly Johnson, and now we're waiting for Samantha Young. Let's get them to practicing. Keep in mind, if, that, if there's no alternative you have and you only have certain actors who are not good with the genre, like train them as fast as you can to make sure that they're able to um, stabilize in the film and get a good experience level because without that they're gonna suck and it's gonna be bad so and even though with a money less money ranking but it um less money ranking, if with a profit with the profit of the film it will round up like to be more than what you usually make so if you run out of money then don't worry as long as you actually are able to like fi finish the movie by the time and you um are able to make a profit then yeah, you're gonna be successful. So make sure you keep that in mind. I'm losing money pretty fast, but that's okay. I'm still able to make this as long as this extra is able to make something. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, she's nearly done. Now that I, I will I will do this as fast as I can. I'm sorry. All right, now that I got everything done, let's begin. Now that she's experienced enough, let's begin. All right, shooting will be begin. Go to this. Go here. Get ready. Get him ready for horror. I'm sorry for you doing too much. You're gonna get stressed out. And let's have the scriptwriters begin writing the horror film. 
Oh, by the way, keep in mind, like, when you see the stars in this beginning, it's not going to be the exact amount of stars that it will be when you release it. It all depends on the outcome of the film. So, yeah, that's just an example of what it might be if it actually becomes successful and your, um, and your film the outcome will be okay. So, just keep in mind about that, and you can see how much money I've lost because I've been waiting that long. But, um, it will be able to improve soon. Spoiler alert, I don't want to let you see this. <laughs> it's a wrap. Let's see what he can practice, but this won't be a spoiler because he's just practicing. <laughs> By the way, lucky catch. I was able to get the script I really wanted for my horror Action. film. Yes! Alright, filming is ne nearly complete for my film. By the way, I want to keep. I want you to know about this. Okay, there's a genre interest list right there in the purple box, in the purple um bo box or square, whatever you want to call it, and it says action level comedy blah 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 blah. It's kind of relevant to like an experience level. Oh, not really at all. But um, it actually just tells us like where um the people in the horn uh, who want to really want to watch certain movies are interested in the, what topics. So if it's sci-fi, they're all even now. So you're, we're lucky enough to make these two films with horror and comedy. But uh, the, you will be able to know like which one will improve because like as you can see in the white box, there's an a plus um genre thing or minus genre. Which tells you like which genre they w will improve or which realm genre will not improve or will it just decrease in interest. And then you'll pretty much be aware. So make sure you in these circles that you know and you'll be able to be aware of what's what's going to happen. So, But when you receive a certain award, it might all be even no matter what film you are um, doing. It you will No fans will like lose interest. So here we go. All right, filming for my first movie has been completed. And now let's let's see what's the outcome. And let's see the script quality and it makes it one and a one and a what the fuck is that? It makes a one star. That's actually a big achievement because like yeah, the star power is poor because nobody really knows a lot. Crew experience is poor cuz they we're they're just new crew. But still, it's superb novelty value for the setting, and the technology was standard and good. And but everything was like perfect, and now we made one star. And to be honest, in that time at the beginning, it's perfect. Cause the more stars you, the like every time whenever your um, actors improve, and every time whenever you do like it, when your crew experience is improved and everything, your setting and everything, it will be perfect. So one star or one and more will be like amazing that means you've done a really good job for your first movie when you as you increase your um studios ranking and everything you will get better stars and the five star will be really hard to do but that will last until like the freaking 60s so yeah you're gonna have to wait about that and now that I've, they will tell me like how is their stress it that, that means holly johns has worked a lot and this is amount of money star rating they're nothing but experience was okay okay samantha young not really okay um this crew was a uh, crew was bad but that's only because they're new and script writers are bad because they're new production cost 17,000 it took nine months to make it and now here are the reviews here's uh, okay when you have a exclamation mark pointing at it that pretty much tells you like the situation the movie has but the rest that are not it just tells means that um like pretty much they're good like how holly jo johnson does a good job or directing the film blah 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 blah. the setting is good and they, they just need a better um better star power and that concludes our first tutorial to the movies game as you can see i've made the top 10 list for the movies and as you can see you've learned the basics of what you need to do to begin the movie studio and everything and i'll and you've actually been able to um, understand the whole entire topic. So thank you guys for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoy. Leave a like if you can't if you um, enjoy the video. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.